Good afternoon, it's uh, 21st of April, it's 3.30 and there's the sea and this is the uh, road to Coleraine and I'm opposite uh, the Bishop's Palace which is over across the road and uh, that's part of it up there. The, this bishop, he was uh, into all things grandiose and architecture. And I've come across the road here to find something a wee bit of interest to me. It's the Pre Castle Rock Presbyterian burial, burial ground. But this is the new cemetery and I want to go to the old cemetery. Because there is an old cemetery and there it is. I want to see if it's got anything of interest. I just love old cemeteries. And this has obviously been an old church. And that grave there isn't isn't uh, of any huge age. That's a more recent one. Let's go up and see what we can find up here. Don McMullen died 1825. Somebody else, 1813. And there's there's graves, I'm walking over graves. Yeah, this is the old the old church I would imagine. Eighteen sixty, eighteen thirty eight. Eighteen seventy nine. Eighteen forty seven, eighteen forty two. There's an older one there. See if I can read that. No, I can't get those those boils down. The part of this life. What does that say? Don't know, can't see. Can't see. We could break our ankle very handy here. So I'm just taking care, can't read that. These grave stones are, are have, have stood the test of time well because they're lying down. As far as I can see, most of these headstones are, you know, fall into the 1800s category. Buried 1800. Let's see what the one down here is. Eighteen forty or 1814. That's one of the oldest. That I've come across. That's a strange looking one there. That headstone. I've never seen one like that before. So I'll carry on round this wee path, see where it brings me. I 
in those days, you know, all their graves were just buried on top of. Because that's what they did. They dug them out and burned the, the, uh, the bones. And then buried somebody new on top of it. It's the Thompson Hollows. Eighteen thirty-three. Quite a grandiose. Eighteen seventy-one. James Pollock. And this at the top. This is a particularly grandiose one. This looks like a mausoleum, which I didn't really expect to see here. It's quite an interesting one, it certainly is. I wonder how many are in there. Eighteen oh nine. Eighteen thirty something. That's quite an interesting one, it's not been all tidied up. Eighteen ninety. Nineteen oh three. Eighteen forty five. Let's get down to see this one here. Without breaking the leg. Eighteen fifty six. There's flowers on this one here, and there's an old grave in there that was completely trapped by ivy. Can't read that. And this is obviously a family plot. Uh, the, the, the headstone will be built into the wall, but you can't see it. Here's an interesting one. John McCulloch Blakes. Having memory of D. McBlain. Died Articlave, October 1847. Articlave. Now that's interesting. Uh, a guy down the road I was talking to it was explaining the Arctic Cleave to me. Oh, here's one. Here lies something or other who died 1787. So, aye, the guy was explaining the Arctic Cleave to me. He says the wind whistles up the valleys like the, like the Arctic. I never thought of that, you know. And Cleave in the old Scottish means you know, to cut you. So, Arctic cleave, you know, it, it, it would cut you like an Arctic wind. Here's another one, is it? Oh no, 78 years and there's... I can't read the date. But I imagine that one's quite old, I think it's... I don't know, can't read it. So there you go. Another interesting uh, 
graveyard. Come and check it out for yourself. <laughs>